So we will start with the equations of motions under which we are going to study three pictures. One is starting their uh, picture, Heisenberg picture and interaction pictures. So all the three pictures are very important. And these three pictures, they bring out the concept of equations of motions. And of course, classically we know that uh, equations of motions using Newton's uh, laws. Suppose if I know the initial velocity of any particle having some mass and I know where it is going to fall. Final velocity I know. What is the height? Height also I know. What is the time period? That also I know. How long it can fall? That are all every information I can come to know if I know the initial velocity and mass of the particle, classical particle using Newton's uh, laws. But here we are going to use Schrodinger equation. Schrodinger eigenvalue is given by HSI equal to ESI. And using the operator E, that will give you IH d psi by dt. So, E operator is represented in terms of IH cross d psi by dt. And this equation is the equation of motion in quantum mechanics. Like uh, equation of motion for classical will be, you, you are going to use only Newton's laws. Similarly, this equation will give you equation of motion. So, for any quantum system, we go only with the dynamics of a quantum system. So, equation of motion which they represent, which they represent in terms of dynamics of a quantum system. So, any quantum system can be represented in terms of dynamic variables. So, this is called as, this we talk about uh, time development of a quantum system. So, this is about the time development of quantum system. You have a system like this, quantum particle, after a few minutes, say for example after 5 seconds, where the particle will be, that can be uh, uh, read in terms of time development of quantum system. So this equation represents the time development of a quantum system. So it is called a dynamics of a quantum system. So we know that HSI is equal to E psi, psi is a state vector, okay, H is an operator operator in terms of wave mechanics, correspondingly in terms of the matrix mechanics we call this as a matrix, especially square matrix and E is the eigenvalue which is the diagonal elements of a matrix. The equation of motion is given by this equation 3.9 and you look at this uh, equation HSI equal to ESI. So mainly it deals with only with the two factors. One is uh, Hamiltonian operator, another one is wave function. This is the answer. H operates on E psi that will give you E psi. So, this is the answer. So, mainly it deals with only these two factors. One is the Hamiltonian operator, another one is psi. Okay. Now, in starting the picture, psi depends on time. Psi depends on time. Whereas, the Hamiltonian will not depend on time. So, this, this is what we are going to keep it as. So, out of these two factors, psi depends on time t and h will not depend on time t. So, this is about starting the picture. Then second Heisenberg picture will be h depends on time t, psi will not depend on t. Okay. In third picture, what we call this as interaction picture, sometimes we call this as Dirac picture or intermediate picture. So, different names are there and in that picture, both the factors will depend on t. Is it okay? So, first picture, psi depends on t, h will not depend on t, first picture. And in second picture, h depends on t, psi will not depend on t. In third picture, h and psi both will depend on t. Our aim is to find out, first two, only two things. Our aim is to find out, the first one is the wave function of short in the picture. Second one is equation of motion. For every picture, we are going to find out only two things. One is wave function of Schrodinger picture, wave function of Heisenberg picture, wave function of interaction picture, the first one. And second one is equation of motion for every picture. So, these two things only we are going to find out. Is it okay? So, now we will start with the Schrodinger picture. So, h, it, h itself will be h itself. The psi depends on time t. So, psi of t. So, we know that Eigen value equation for the time evaluation system is given by this uh, in terms of ket notation, okay, h operates on psi that will give you e 
with the wave function same wave function eigen value so substituting in this expression so right hand side so e can be represented in terms of operator so e can be written as i h cross d psi by dt such as i of t okay i have to interchange i have written is it okay now i bring this i h term this side so we will get h divided by i h cross your d psi by psi t okay psi of t d psi of t divided by psi of t which is equal to h divided by i h cross dt which is equal to this one multiply and divide by i that will give you minus i h i h divided by h cross dt is it okay you just multiply and divide by i so that will give you i squared i squared will be minus 1 so minus i h divided by h cross dt so integrate on both sides integrating on both sides dx by x that will give you log x so similarly d psi of t divided by psi of t that will give you log base e psi of t which is equal to in integrating dt that will give you t so that will be minus i h divided by h cross t and your integration constant will be log base e c okay now we we'll go for t equal to 0 when you go to t equal to 0 substitute t equal to 0 we will get the integration constant as we have done in mathematics so at t equal to 0 this is the equation at t equal to 0 you log t equal to 0 this term will not be there correct your log base e c will be log base e psi of t 0 in some other you may find psi of 0 both are the same t not here in some other book you may find as psi of 0 both are the same so at t equal to 0 you will get psi t not okay psi of t not equal to psi of 0 you bring this term this side so you have log psi of t minus log psi of t which is equal to minus i h cross by h t you just substitute okay then use log rule see log a minus log b that will give you log a by b so this will give you log a by b log psi of t divided by psi of t not which is equal to the same term right hand side is the same term now raising to the power exponential on both sides just raise with exponential and exponential log will cancel you will you will have only this term correct you are going to raise it to the exponential so you will have e power minus i h i h by h cross t psi of t so i am what i am going to do is <coughs> this is psi of t correct this is psi of t not this is in terms of sorting the representation so i have termed as psi s since it is represent in terms of sorting the uh, representation sorting the picture so we have written psi with suffixes so here also h with suffixes so h is termed as h s okay h is termed as h s psi equals psi s so this is okay so this represents this equation represents the wave function of schrodinger equation so one part is over okay it means it implies that a particle is somewhere here at initial at t equal to 0 you are going to operate with this function and this will take to some other time it implies that this particle at t equal to 0 is somewhere here and after a few seconds maybe out of 5 seconds this function will take this uh, particle into the new new time okay it implies so we call this as a unitary operator so this transformation is nothing but unitary transformation is it clear so this unitary transformation unitary function that will take this function into some other time that's called a time evaluation time evaluation see we will classically we know that for example you just take uh, 11:45 somewhere here so i am going to give some force so the particle moves i know that if i know the uh, equations of motion using newton's laws i know that where it will be after some time i know sitting on here similarly this equation also will give us the same answer quantum mechanically so this is the idea so this is the initial one this is the final one so this is the idea using unitary unitary operators so unitary operators is given by this so this is your psi of st which is equal to unitary operator operates on psi of s uh, t not so these operations are the unitary transformation 
where u is given by this one. Sometimes we call this as a propagator. Sometimes we call this as time development operators. Everything is the same. Okay. Now our aim is to find out equation for motion. Correct? Equation for motion. So first one, as we said, first one, wave function of the start in the picture. The second one will be equation for motion. For that we are going to have uh, an expectation value of any dynamical operator. So just take any dynamical operator A S. Okay. The expectation value of dynamical operator is given by this expression. Correct. So your A S sandwiched between ket psi s and bra psi s. We know already this. As I already told you that individual pictures are meaningless. So you have Schrodinger picture, you have Heisenberg picture, and interaction picture. If you have if you have uh, Schrodinger picture alone, it will not be it will not work out. This will have no meaning at all. You have to connect these two. You have to connect Schrodinger picture into Heisenberg picture. Only then we can have some meaning. So for connection, we need some quantum state. So for that only we are going to introduce this AS. Okay. So A is a dynamical variable, and the expectation value of dynamical variable is given by this equation. So now just to differentiate this, differentiate with respect to time t. Our aim is to find out equations of motion. So you just differentiate this. So we have now three variables: psi s, a s, psi s, ket psi s. Then you have bra psi s and the dynamical. So we have three variables. Now we are going to differentiate with respect to t. So keeping these two as constant, we will have to differentiate this. Keeping these two as constant, we will have to differentiate this. Keeping these two as constant, we will have to differentiate this. So this is the idea. So that's the idea. We have the equation. Now we are going to keep these two as constant, and we are going to differentiate bra psi s. Correct? Bra psi s. So we have differentiated first one, bra psi s. Keeping these two as constant. Correct? Plus. Keep keeping these two are constant. We are going to differentiate the center part, dynamical value d a s by d t. Similarly, keeping these two are constant, you can differentiate the last one, ket. It's very easier. But according to starting the picture, we said that the Hamiltonian operator, operator is operator does not depend on time t. Correct? Wave function law depends on time t. Operator will not depend on t. So operator does not depend on t. So this term, center term, will become zero. Is it okay? So you will get only the first term and the last term. According to Schrodinger picture, the operator does not depend on t. So the center part will become zero. So you will have only these two terms. Is it okay? Now I'm going to multiply on both sides by i h cross. So you have i h cross the same part d a s expectation value of a s by d t, which is equal to i h cross this term. Is it okay? I'm going to multiply. Now we know that h s i s equal to i h cross p sin by d t. We know already. So now just take the complex conjugate of this. That will give you this expression 3.26. Just take the complex conjugate. What is the complex conjugate of i s? Get i s. So bra i s. The complex conjugate of this will be h dagger. Okay, h dagger. Yes, correct. But we know that h dagger equal to h. All Hermitian operators will give you real Leiden values. Okay, we know already. We, we already studied. So H dagger equal to H. So instead of H dagger, I write this as H s itself. So I get cross. You will give you minus I get cross. Let me take the complex conjugate. So cut I s will give you bras I s. Now substitute these two in the earlier equation. Earlier equation is this one. You substitute these two in the earlier equation. Earlier equation is this one. So you have I get cross d a s by d t, which is equal to Now we'll go for the. We are going to substitute now. See, I get cross d psi by d psi s by d t. Correct this one, this part, which is equal to minus psi s h s. Is it okay? Everyone, I get cross the first part. We just take the first part. I get cross bra psi s by d t. I get cross bra psi d psi s by d t. Minus sign. If we bring it here, that will give you minus sign. So you will get minus psi s h s, correct? And remaining thing will be your a s psi s, a s psi s. Is it okay? Now just bring psi s a s here alone. You have d psi s by d t. 
d psi s by dt with the h class h class is common so that will give you h s i s so instead of the last term you will have h s i s you should not interchange very important okay operators orders are very very important orders matter orders are very important is it okay so you have one minus sign and you have plus sign you just take uh, these two things inside okay so that will give you a s h s minus h s a s other things are not taken we can take it as common so a s h s minus h s a s and this is our commutator of a s h s commutator of a s h s so a s h s will give you a s h s minus h s a s so instead of this we can write like this okay so your complete uh, uh, equation of motion will be exactly like this i get cross d a s by dt equal to this one okay but we know already a s and h s will commute with each other operators will commute in quantum mechanics so these two will commute with each other so this will become zero if it is equal to zero left hand side is equal to zero i s cross cannot be equal to zero so only this thing will be equal to zero if it is equal to zero a s is constant so equation of motion so constant motion it implies that this is a s is constant constant of motion so this is called equation of motion in in start in the picture so is it clear okay so we have finished one part that is we have uh, derived the equation for the starting the picture wave function for the starting the picture and we have derived the equation for the equation of motion so which is given by 3.30 equation 3.0 okay now we'll go for heisenberg representation so in heisenberg picture we already we said about that operators operators will depend on t wave function will not depend on t just opposite okay operators will depend on t so h will give you h of t your psi will not depend on time t so that's the idea now we know already this one correct we know already this one that is i we discussed earlier unitary operator operates on the quantum system which is at the initial state will give the final state so we know already this so u is given by this expression correct so this is your starting the picture this is your heisenberg picture i have written as heisenberg picture because in heisenberg picture psi does not depend on t correct so that's why i termed as it's a heisenberg picture whereas this one depends on t so that's why this is a starting the picture so that's the connection between starting the picture and heisenberg picture through unitary operation so this is unitary operation correct so there's a connection between these two now we just bring this term this to this side you will get this we are going to use this one so that's the idea is it okay these two things now just take u u inverse on both sides so u inverse this factor will be there which is equal to u inverse u u inverse u will be one identity matrix u inverse multiplied by u that will be identity matrix which is equal to psi st so u inverse will uh, and also u inverse equal to u dagger u inverse u equals identity matrix u inverse will be u dagger so you can write u dagger here here it is one so u dagger u dagger psi of st which is equal to psi of st not okay is it okay very simple one and uh, at time t equal to zero that means there is no time at all it means that this is the person's psi h okay psi h heisenberg picture correct because wave function does not depend on t wave function does not depend on t so this is i have written on the other side okay u dagger and of course u dagger is this one will be psi st not so that's why we written as this term as psi st not so psi h means there is no time at all so it means that frozen in time okay it's very important frozen in time so there is no change in time 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 is uh, almost zero here so it freezes freezes out the expectation value of any operator as yes, we are going to go to the, go for the next one as we have done earlier so as the expression of as can be written as exactly like this just take the expectation value of as is given by this expression and as i said earlier <coughs> that one factor that will connect 
both the things correct either one so one factor we are going to look into that one now so a is this a is which is uh, I, we can write this as exactly like this for example just take psi of st okay psi of st psi of st can be written as e power minus i h divided by h cross t psi of st not correct just take the ket into bra you will get this so instead of psi of st where is it psi of st the second one i can write this as psi of st not e power i h cross by h cross t a s this a is here i repeat come on this will be your bra psi of psi of t psi s of t bra psi of st is nothing but this expression correct so instead of this i can substitute this is it okay the same as is here now you go for ket psi of psi of st ket psi of is nothing but this factor see this factor is substituted okay is it okay now i am going to term i am going to keep this term as ah this is the factor very important factor which connect both so this term as ah okay and of course psi s t not is nothing but psi s t not is nothing but psi h so this will be your psi h and this factor is ah and this will be your psi h is it okay from schrodinger picture into now heisenberg picture we have, we have come into now just now we said that ah is given by this expression so this expression okay correct this expression ah equal to given by this expression and this is nothing but we can write this as exactly like this this is unitary operator this will be your this will be your dagger this is u this is u dagger so that's why we written like this at t equal to 0 you substitute at t equal to 0 here the both heisenberg and the schrodinger picture will coincide so beautiful okay at t equal to 0 both the things will coincide we will get exactly ah equal to as at t equal to 0 see you will get 1 exactly here also 1 1 divided by e power 0 that will be also 1 so you will get ah equal to as at t equal to 0 see heisenberg picture operator depends on t correct schrodinger picture operator does not depend on t at t equal to 0 both the operators are equal see at t equal to 0 both operators are equal okay now we'll go for the equation second part equation of motion so as usual we know this one ah is given by this expression 3.37 okay we know and this concept often uh, i have been telling you very important one if a common physical system exists in both represent so there will be a common physical system there will be a quantity so both representations schrodinger and heisenberg pictures then the expression values of any operator will be the same will be the same so ah equals this factor e power i h divided by h cross t as e power minus i h divided by h cross t okay a is sandwiched between both the unitary operators okay both the unitary operators one is the normal one another one is a complex conjugate okay now as usual just to differentiate okay we have to differentiate with respect to time t so we have now three factors we have three factors you have to keep these two as constant you have to differentiate this okay you have to keep these two as constant we have to differentiate this we have to keep these two constant we have to differentiate this so we love like this okay so multiply through by i h cross so i h cross you are going to differentiate this okay so that will give you i h divided by h cross e power i h divided by h cross t correct one factor is over we have kept these two as constant so a s e power minus i h by h cross t correct then second one will be we will differentiate the central part keeping these two are constant then the last one exactly like this last one will be e power minus i h cross that's why minus is there okay is it okay now you just multiply with them i h cross so this h cross so we will cancel e how minus e power this factor correct here h is here okay you have written h a is here and this factor i h cross okay common so i h cross multiplied by this factor and i h cross and this one will give you this one okay so i into i 
i squared minus 1 minus into minus plus so all the things here so a is h is it okay your h cross h star will be cancelled so there is no h cross down in the in the denominator is it okay now i take the first term and the last term combine together second term exactly like this so you have now h a s h a s with a minus sign a s h s will be somewhere here again use the commutator you know you can use commutator a s h with a commutator a s h okay this time will not be equal to zero because last time we started your picture dynamical operator does not depend on t but here it depends on t okay can you differentiate these two okay so we will get only exactly as it is so you have i h cross d a h by dt which is equal to commutator a h comma h plus i h cross d a h by dt so this will be your equations of motion in raisen per picture okay that is idea now you just divide by i h cross so that will simplify that we will get the equation 3.43 so this is the equation of motion and this equation of motion is exactly similar to the classical mechanics which you have already studied using poisson equation exactly like this so poisson bracket a and h okay so this is about schrodinger and heisen just we are going to compare so this is the most similar to the classical equation of motion h is the same as that of schrodinger picture in schrodinger picture the dynamical operator is constant in time correct and state vector varies in time just opposite in heisen uh, picture state vector is constant in time whereas dynamical operator varies in time okay the transfer from one picture to another picture takes through unitary operators which is given by this that's called the unitary transformation so now we'll go for the last one okay interaction picture okay the interaction picture as i told you that it's called as a dirac picture or intermediate picture which connects these two so how how these two things are interacted we are going to look into so very important thing is one picture says that the operator that is starting the picture says that operator does not depend on t wave function depends on t reason by picture says that wave function does not depend on t operator depends on t whereas in the last picture interaction picture both depend on t so that's the idea both depend on t now what we are going to do is so both depend on t it means that we are going to combine starting the picture as well Heisenberg picture, correct? We are going to combine these two and get uh, the picture, total picture. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to have the Hamiltonian in interaction picture as a combination of as a combination of unperturbed and perturbed term. Perturbation means disturbance. We are going to we are going to disturb. Unperturbed term does not depend on t. Perturbed term will depend on t. so this is something like you have starting the picture and this will be something like your heisen per picture so something like that so you are going to add these two so it means exactly like this okay so this is a intermediate picture between schrodinger and heisen per picture both quantum states and operators are time dependent it's particularly useful for problems apparently involving time dependent interaction terms so usually when you look at uh, models already we studied so many models correct like uh, quantum bell problem infinite quantum bell problem harmonic oscillator hydrogen atom so what we use so far uh, as solving the time independent equations so we, have, we have used okay all the problems but the reality 90% of the system will be always time dependent problem for example just take the atom so light interacts with the matter so light interacts with the atom so atom will absorb the photons then it will immediately it will go to the excited state so absorption and after some time it will come to the uh, ground state emitting some radiations so these are all time dependent problem so most of the problems will be time dependent only so we have to use only interaction which are very very important we have to consider okay so now as i said hatch not will be unperturbed term no disturbance for example perturbation can be either you can apply electric field or magnetic field or temperature so they are all perturbation systems so this will be your unperturbed term this will be your perturbed hamiltonian which depends on t which does not depend on t we are going to combine these two will give you the total hamiltonian which 
or the interaction picture. Is it okay? Now, as usual, we will have to take the same, uh, same method a equals this unitary operator u dagger sandwiched between your a s, correct? So, a s sandwiched between u dagger and u, so which is nothing but your a i. So, we know already this. Okay. Similarly, psi i of t equals u dagger with the psi s of t. That also we know already. So, we have taken from those two pictures, these two ideas. Now, we are going to just differentiate these. Just differentiate. Okay. As usual, we just differentiate. Differentiating will give you, keeping this as constant, you will have to differentiate this. Keeping this as constant, you will have to differentiate this. As usual. So, we have four terms. Correct? Two terms. Okay. Correct. Keeping this as constant, you will have to differentiate. Just keeping this as constant, you will have to differentiate this. So, we have differentiated now. Now, multiply this equation by i h cross. So, you will have i h cross. So, you will have i h cross multiplied by this first term, i h cross multiplied by the second term. i and i term that will give you minus sign. So, minus h naught e power this term, the total term. Correct? And here also i h cross with this remaining term. Now, just take the second term alone i h cross d psi by dt, i h cross d psi s between the new h psi psi s. So, instead of this i h cross d psi s dt, you can write this as h psi psi of s. Is it okay? In the second term alone. So, in the second term alone. All the other terms here, in the second term alone we have written, correct? So, second term alone we have written. And of course, h psi will be h naught plus h psi. So, h naught plus h psi. I repeat. So, we are going to substitute Hachai here. Instead of these two terms, we are going to substitute Hachai here. Hachai is nothing but H0 plus H prime. So, H0 plus H prime. Okay, after substituting, you will have to substitute Hachai for Hachai. H0 plus Hachai. So, H prime. So, H0 plus H prime. Is it okay? So, Okay, so exactly like this. You will get exactly like this. Now we will just separate the term. This one you have separated. These two terms we have separated, correct? And these two terms we have separated. So in terms of H naught, in terms of H prime, here in terms of H naught. And of course we know that H naught is unperturbable time, unperturbable term, which is independent of time. And this term and this term will get cancelled, correct? This term and this term will get cancelled. This is independent of time. You can pull H naught out this side. E power plus E power minus will be cancelled. H naught is independent of time. If, if it depends on time, you cannot uh, take it out. Is it clear? T is here. Here also T is here. If it depends on time, you cannot pull it out. Because this does not depend on time. You can take H naught anywhere. So H naught can be pulled here. This term that will give you 1. And this and this one will get cancelled, correct? The first two terms will get cancelled. Is it okay? And you will get only the final term, this term alone. So we have written exactly like this. Okay? Do you have any doubt in this, sir? Okay. So this equation can be exactly written like this. We can write this equation as H prime can be written as H psi prime. Okay? These two terms. Exactly like this. So, H psi prime. See, I am going to write this as H psi prime as H prime sandwich between U dagger and U. Okay? Exactly like this. So, this is the time dependent Hamiltonian expressed in the interaction picture. Okay? So, this is the equation of motion in the interaction picture as seen in the Heisenberg picture. Now, we will go for the last session which is nothing but the equation of motion. So, we know already dynamical operator in uh, interaction picture can be written as a i equals a s sandwich between u dagger and u. So, we know already. Now, we are going to differentiate as usual. We are going to differentiate the same procedure. We are going to differentiate with respect to time t. We will have to keep these two as constant. We will have to differentiate and we are going to do for the rest of the things. So, we will get exactly three terms. Keep these two as constant, we will have to differentiate first term. We have differentiated this, keep two as constant. Similarly, the other term. Is it okay? Any doubt? So, now we will go for the rest. This thing, 
these three terms can be written as ai so first three things can be written as ai correct and of course this can be written as dai the last term also can be written as ai i h not by h using this expression very simple one now multiply throughout by i h cross h cross will cancel you will have i squared that will be minus 1 so minus h not ai i h cross dai by dt and you will have h cross cross will cancel correct this i and i square that will be minus so plus you will have plus ai h not these two things together can be written as exactly like this this one is here and using commutator expression you can write you can write this as commutator ai comma h not okay now divide throughout by i h cross will give you exactly equation 3.60 now this is the equation of motion in in interaction picture correct interaction picture and this is exactly similar to the equation of motion in heisenberg picture see very important conclusion is the state vector obeys here state vector state vector obeys schrodinger type equation and the interaction hamiltonian obeys heisenberg equation so we have only two entities as is said one is h another one is psi these two entities okay which operates on time t that matters okay the state vector obeys here the state vector obeys schrodinger type uh, equation and the interaction hamiltonian obeys heisenberg time equation so this is exactly similar to heisenberg uh, in heisenberg picture okay so that's the idea so these three pictures are very important okay um, so first thing is uh, just to, to recall we have uh, discussed um, linear operators dirac notations in the class in the class dirac notations and uh, pictures all the three pictures schrodinger picture uh, heisenberg picture interaction picture in schrodinger picture wave function varies with the time t where hamiltonian is kept constant whereas in uh, heisenberg picture hamiltonian varies with the time wave function is kept constant whereas in interaction picture wave function and hamiltonian both depend on time t okay so that's the idea thank you sir